What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here. No stipulation this time. We'll just do a regular Cube Draft. And uh, if Mike gets back in the middle of the draft, that's totally fine. If you get tired of living, you can look into Mummification. Also a uh, also a fine option. Polar Spur, what's going on, buddy? Welcome back. So yeah, Vintage Cube Draft, no stipulation. And if Mike comes back, Mike will probably be back by the time we're in these picks. Oh, Mox Emerald. That's what we're taking. That's what we're taking. Yeah. Nothing really great in this pack. We do have a stipulation that we could actually do right now. Uh, it was by Unease Joker. Take the best card in the pack, disregarding deck building. And they say, me personally, I like black cards. Black X. From what I've, from what I've seen you play, you're normally blue X. Salt High. Be in my favorite color combination. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know if we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna. We'll do that next time. Because it's easier to have someone who's like who can actually tell you also what. Because I have no idea what the best card in this pack would be. Uh, could just take Elvish Mystic here. I do like. Yeah, I do like Elvish Mystic. If you do radio, it'll be the first time I'll listen to radio. It will be the first time I'll listen to radio. Wow, that's. I'll take it. I'll take it. I want to take Elvish Mystic here. Yep, this mouse is still kind of lagging. Kiora? Hmm. Don't know if I care about a Kiora. I do like an Avacyn's Pilgrim. I also like a Vraska. I think I just heard Mike's car, so. And he's back. Alright, so Mike B. In route. Could be Avacyn's Pilgrim. I don't love ha like I don't love the that it makes white. What is radio? It's what old folks version of Spotify. There you go. That's good. There you go. This is Mike's second second trip to the Starbucks today. Yeah, well, when you got a gift card, you go a little crazy. Do you? Does anybody really know what time it is? Um, 5.44 p.m. Thank you. Oh, got a mox, did you, boy? What's the pick here, bro? We got 11 seconds. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Uh, uh tra bargain? Bargain? I don't even know what bargain is. Yawgmoth's bargain is what you want to take in that pack. Have you ever played with that card, man? I want to take this Rafelos now. Yes, I have. And I think we both know that it's not a super common cube card. I want to take Rafelos here. You can right. draw as many cards as you want. Sylvan Library? As Deal. As many as you want. The green cards are plentiful today. Is there any step we're doing right now? No, man. You just draft whatever you want. Vivian Reed? Deal. Taking it all. I'm going to actually take these cards Ula quick. Muck. Ula Muck. Ula Muck. Ula Muck. <laughs> Ula Muck. Over Primus? Vlog's like my favorite card, man. Look what I did for Thank you. Thank you. Look at the things I do for you. It's probably the worst pick, but... Are the... Really? Yeah, Primus is probably better. Then again, with the fellows, you only need five lands out. <laughs> it's true. Hey, everyone's chanting in the chat with me. Yeah. Well, I think you Uta probably did. Utamog. Utamog. Do you know that meme? I do know that meme. Do you really? Saltmouth? Yeah, I think so. Does Michael B. really know what time it is? 5.46 p.m. Wow, okay. I guess, I guess you do. <laughs> Way to show off. None of the good cards in the pack one came back. One orb in case we get Guy's Cradle. I was thinking Taiga in case we splash a red card, but sure. You want know Guy's Cradle, Winter Orb? You what red ever do for you in green? What red ever do for you? We could take Choops too because we have a Vraska, but no. uh, Choops. I take Choops. 
Would you take a Choops? Yeah, I don't think we're playing red. <sighs> Here comes the Bella Blood Braid Elf. You ready? Who even cares about that stupid card? Red gets you Blood Braid Elf. Marty, Marty Reels knows what's up. I got the black and white mocha. Hot. How is it, actually? I was tempted to get it's that good. until I realized the peppermint hot chocolate was an option. It's got those chocolatey flavors. It's got chocolate notes, and it's got a little smoky flavor. I mean, I wouldn't even call them notes. I call them directs. Directs? Yeah, it's real chocolatey. Huh. Can I smash you in the head with this hammer? Maybe later. But I, but I want it now! Avacyn's Pilgrim? Yeah, off color. It's like an off-colored mox. You're an off-colored mox? Wow. What if I smash your drink with this hammer? What you you will get a then? lot of coffee everywhere, and it will not be What fun. if I got no coffee anywhere? That would be impossible. Hmm. Oh, look. Look at all the greens. I like Groot. We could take Huntmaster, but alas, you didn't let us take our taiga. That's actually really good. I can't believe this is like second to last pick. That's pretty yeah, crazy. People do not respect that card, apparently. Wow, that's a late Thran Dynamo that I will gladly take with an Ulamog in our deck. Cytree, I did get your email with the, th the, with the spreadsheet. I have not had a chance to respond because yesterday was Christmas and today is the day after Christmas. But I definitely did, and it was a, it looked like a lot of work, so I do appreciate it. Uh, this pack is hot trash. Emrakul? I think it might just be Emrakul. Or Paluki. What's for dinner? I actually have no idea. Paluki? I think it's probably Emrakul. I think this is a much better payoff. Also, I want to live the dream of having two Eldrazi Titans and then putting them both into play. Yep, that's a good card. That is a Off good card. Off of Tooth and Nail is what I meant. Oh, that'd be look, nice. look, this tentacle almost connects from one to the next. Oh, it almost does. You're right. Huh, look at that tentacle. It just goes right on through. Yep, Primeval Titan, not close. Uh, I don't actually care about Nykthos in this deck at all. The reason being, if you have enough green permanents to actually make a dent, like, even, I'd have to have Avacyn's Pilgrim, Elvish Mystic, and Sylvan Library in play just to break even on Nykthos. That would make three, three mana, and you're already tapping three. So, like, you have to have upwards of, like, four to five permanents, and not tokens, to start making mana with Nykthos. I think Nykthos is actually a pretty big trap most of the time, especially because it doesn't tap for green. It doesn't hurt you that much if you're monocolored. Right, but I mean, it's also not something I'm going to take, like, second pick either. Dare Dog. Wow. <laughs> no. No. Gross. <laughs> I got you. I don't like the card anyway. <laughs> well, all right then. All right. Oh, we did get Tooth and Nail. I think we take Tooth and Nail. Also, this is one of my favorite Nissas, but considering that we got... Uh, don't want to risk it. I mean, Tooth and Nail did table that other time, so who knows, but... I don't know. Yeah, but every draft is different. Man, our curve is looking real high. Just like your mom. Wow. Real high. <sighs> How many Ulamogs do you need to make Eureka good? I think it's good in our deck. Get Vraska primetime Ulamog Emrakul. I think it is good. I'm going to take it. Eureka is not a trap where show and tell is a trap. I think Devoted Druid will come back anyway. Eureka is not a trap. Uh, show and tell is the trap. Eureka actually, in the right deck, you actually crush with Eureka. It's pretty insane. Like, they can usually get one dude out, and then you actually just end up swarming them. Metalworker? Metalworker? Mm -hmm. We have, like, one art... We have two artifacts in our yeah, deck. Yeah, three. Okay, if this is in our hand and we have a Metalworker out, it's probably... We're probably playing incorrectly. Not necessarily. <laughs> uh, no, you Michael. Met you Metalworker, then you play the Mox, and then you activate the Mox, and you get more mana. I don't think giving them an option. I mean, this is, it's not really... I'm not, like, debating it with you guys. Like, I've actually played Eureka multiple times in the right deck. It's actually great. Like, giving them a way to put their, like... 
other decks usually don't have the same caliber of spells that you have. So being able to put their like Banishing Light, Land, Land, Student of Warfare, like Demir Signet onto play, uh, when you're putting like Ugin, Ulamog, Vraska, and Primeval Titan is it's not like your deck is geared towards playing something like Eureka. Their decks are not. Who played Genesis Wave for the ultimate goof? We don't have enough. I don't think we have the mana for it. I would not sideboard that guy. Really? I think he's main deckable. No good. He's main deckable. I'll take Fatal Push. I like Dark Ritual, but it's not a very. Carnage Turner. I think Nissa seems Nissa's good here. better. We already have enough fatties. I'm not good enough magic to use it without being a trap. That's fair, and that's a totally fair thing to say. We need to pick up more Ramp Boy. Ramp Boy? Yeah. Student of Warfare. Yeah, it's a weird deck, but, you know, it's a thing. The yeah, Student of Blue Warfare, the Mirror Signet deck. Yeah, Blue Kronos always comes back. Which is actually fine. I mean, I'll even drop a 5-5 five five with Eureka. Drop a 5-5. Five five. Eureka's pretty terrible against Reanimator. I don't... I don't I don't think that's correct. I feel like you might be... Yeah, because typically Reanimator has like one target. What? No, they don't. What? what your rear Reanimator deck opponents suck. Touche. Mercury's Strength Ride Switch Noob question. When did the resub notification pop up where y'all... Where you're all, thanks, Bird. Way to hit two months. That's the second shortest duration of anyone who's ever followed me. Assuming we're rounding up to the nearest month. <laughs> uh, you do that stuff automatically, or, or manually. I don't think that, I think that you have to do that on your end. It doesn't actually pop automatically. But I don't know, because I'm on the other side of that. So. Someone else, can someone else let David Bird Myers know the, truth, the true, the true uh, spirit of Christmas? When I see Wall of Blossoms, I actually said that Wall of Possums is in a card. That's, I agree with you. That's also. Mary Fizzif. I'm sorry, what? So we got Wasteland, Slime Time. And that's about it. Is this our guy's cradle play? I like Nissa Voice of Endicar. I think it's a fine three drop. Because then. You okay with you? Just me doing this. Oh, okay. Cyborg Yui, thank you so much for the three months. I really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. You think I was making noises with my body? I don't know what you're doing with your body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the Nissa. Tur turn two Nissas. Oh, okay. uh, definitely a channel deck. <laughs> well, we already got two colorless boys. Can we get 15 mana Emrakul as well? That would be gas. Yeah, that's not even close. I'm not actually about playing the black cards just yet. I would actually play Vraska. Uh, we have no reason to cut black yet. Even if you had one one swamp or yeah one swamp to the deck for Vraska, I mean it makes for fellows worse. Right, but I mean adding one swamp for a Vraska in the late game off of Primeval Titan or like a, a search card is not yeah that terrible. Uh, I don't think it's oath. No nah, man, we we oath out we oath out every day. I don't think so, man. How does oath even trigger again? You have to, they have to have more creatures than you. The, whoever has more, yeah. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, if that player if there's a player that controls more. You get to search. Oh, so, so it does them too. Oh, yes, so uh, on their turn, they would get to search if we had more creatures. Yeah, I'm just taking Brain Maggot here. Lenore Elf. Next to the Fate. Huh. Hey, look, another one. It's your boy. <laughs> I don't think we actually take it, but... What? I'd rather have, like, a Metamorph for a throne. We have a really high... We have energy. Eureka and Channel. And Tooth and Nail. Yeah. But isn't, like, Yavimai Elder just better for us? No, I hate Yavimai Elder. It takes, like, three turns to get going. Because you play it on three. But look at his... You crack it on four. You play it on three. You crack it on four for two. And you actually don't even get to use, like... It, it, it skips your three and four. Unless you just happen to block on turn, on turn four with it. Hey, even then, like, you're still not... You really want to take Kozlik? Yeah. You're crazy, man. How am I crazy? It's too high a curve. Take that bird. <laughs> too high a curve. Take that bird. Does that rhyme? Kind of? Sort of. Sword? Sort of. There's no sword in the pack. Sort of. Sort of. Deranged Hermit? Oh, Hermie. That's from Miss Piggy. It's a, That's from Miss Piggy. It's a Muppets reference. 
She says Kermy, but it's, it's basically the same. It was a play on words. Thanks for the educational course. <laughs> well, you didn't graduate high on school, Kermy. so I had to. I had to tell How you. How dare you? I graduated with honors. Did you? No, no. But I did graduate with almost straight A's, so that was cool. Did you? Yeah. What happened? How the mighty have fallen. I got one B. Okay. A one B. <laughs> did you like that? Did you I like? Have, I shouldn't have laughed at that. Oh, I didn't deserve it. I did. I deserved it. But you didn't like that I deserved it. Oh, we got a beast within. I didn't even know that. I just took it right now. Oh. Can we gotta make some cuts, my dude. I'm gonna cut Avison's Pilgrim because it's the worst of our pilgrims. I'll cut Trophy. I think Scavenging Goose is fine on the sideboard. Like. There we go. Look, it's a deck. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Oh, Blue Marsh. A deal. Oh, Mike, did you go to high school with someone named Honors as well? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I graduated with Honors. Yeah, how did how did they do? Oh, they did good. Are you just watching me do this? Yeah, because it's weird. You're weird. Yeah, but that feels good. Okay, this is this is how we this is how we break things. Maybe that's true. Oh god, I'm, I'm just like afraid of this like rubber band snapping on my. I'm like, not only does it snap on the my hammer skull, falls like the and hammer falls and bashes into your keyboard and breaks it. <laughs> it's like, it's like the perfect storm of things that can go wrong. Look, both of them came back. I think I'd rather have a throne. Yeah. For the board, same. Yeah, well, that's a good one too. Oh, ten Frank bits. Now, is charity is the charity thing still going? Oh, it is. Nice. Uh, this is the deck, right? Yeah. Like I have no changes that I want to make here, and we just add sixteen. No, we have a mox too, so no swamp. Actually, we do want. We might want a swamp. Yeah, we still want one swamp. So fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Cut one of these. Add to the deck. Add mox. So I want to go turn one Mox Forest Channel Fat Boy. <laughs> I got him. I got him. Mox Forest Fat Boy. Oh, I wanna play I wanna play Nicol Bolas just off of Eureka. Wow. And they'll be like, Do you have any way to cast that card? And I'll be like, No. Um You know what? This is real close. Just gotta draw a fatty. I mean, even with tooth and nail, we can. Well. Oh yeah. Yeah, because we can entwine it. We'll have to wait till we can't really do it on. Turn we need four two, green, but... so we do it turn four. Or turn three, rather, if we hit a second. If we hit one more. I mean, we could also just draw. A dude. The mono red deck, eh? Come on, come on. That's yeah, fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can't Vrask on turn two. We don't have enough green for that. We could channel and do it. No, because we need a, we need to channel for two. And then we have one black. Oh, we don't so have we, the other green. We can do it this turn. Right, right, but I'd rather just tooth and nail. Right? Like I'd rather just tooth and nail. Five. Yeah, we're just going to channel here. Yup. This is going to be okay. Entwine. One, two. I'll go to 13 and assume you can't deal with that. He's mono. Oh, well, I guess he's not mono red. What are we putting into play? This is just Emrakul and, and Ulmog. Yeah, let's do it. That seems awesome. I do like. No, I want, I want an Annihilator guy, though. So. Ulmog Kozilek? Sure. I mean, they don't trigger, unfortunately, but you know what? It's the price we'll pay. I mean, the red blue, I don't know what they can actually do against this. I guess they could bounce them. <laughs> it's 20, 20 mana worth of creatures on turn two. One has Annihilator 4, one mills you for 20. So, Flame Slash. Okay. Oh, that'll do it. Oh, they flee, they killed their own guy. Out of a goof, I guess. Not a goof, like, a, like, a, like they're just, we're having fun right now. 
Unless they meant to do that. And there's... Okay, they're, they killed their own Grim Lava Mancer. <laughs> Alright, we're having a good time. Maybe that was mind games. You know, I don't think so. I think I think they're just... Uh, I would attack with a Lantern Royal for extra beats. Oh, 100%, because they're not going to have any permanents. So... I guess Annihilator 4? I thought it was only 2. Jeez. No. All the all the mythic ones have four. Well, except for Emrakul herself, which has six. This is a good this is a good game. We had a good time. It was close. Oh, we get to see twenty cards too. That's cool. Uh Chain Lightning, Deceiver Exarch, Cryptic, Ancestral, Zealous. So definitely frenzy. the combo deck. Uh Dig Ponder. The deck looks actually very good. <coughs> Only one counter spell in these twenty. In these twenty, though, so fun and interactive game of magic. Correct. Well, that was. I had a good time. Throne might be okay here. Might probably have been on Pelucranos. Tell Mike I want. To... <laughs> what? He wants to marry you. Oh. Tell Mike I want to marry. You. <laughs> I was like, you just told him. Oh, that's great. Tell me if you play your cards right. But you say it. <laughs> okay. All right. It is tempted to bring in Mirari's Wake just to have it, but. What, in like the Temple Garden? Just hope? Yeah. Well, because we also have Avacyn's Pilgrim, which we can bring in over, like, Mystic. So, I mean, like, we do have a couple white ways to... <sighs> did we take a card out? What did we take out? What did I take out? What's happening right now? Am I having a stroke? Oh, I took Pelucranos out for Thrun. Sure. Garden Pilgrim Bops. Pilgrim Bops. Phil, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Um, yeah, all right. I mean, turn two Nissa's not super exciting, but Eureka could be good. <laughs> this is oh, this is old school magic. Beat down opponent with Eldrazi, and you get a spouse. Auntie is real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if you win, you'll get to marry Mike. But if you lose, you're banished to the Shadowlands. You're banished to the Shadowlands? Mm hmm. Dang it, Bird of Paradise. You're not making our Eureka look any better, Bird. Let's thin our deck so that we definitely draw an Eldrazi next turn. That would be nice. <coughs> Although Eureka is a little scary against them. Wow, they flame slash my Nissa. That's rude. Would you have my Eureka? Well, biscuits. I guess we're attacking here. I guess. What if we fill our hand with, with big fat creatures with Vivian Reed and then with Eureka? That seems cool, right? Seems all right. All right. Well, they're not in cryptic command mana, which is great. The old tutor for a forest to guarantee the Eldrazi draw. Yeah, that's a classic. We could get them here. Get them? Mm -hmm. Who are we getting? We can get one of their lands. We can get a land. How are we get? Oh, you want to beast within one of their lands? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's just fine. I think the Shadowlands is Canada. Maybe that's true. You, where do you, where would you say the Shadowlands are? Your mom's house. Oh, huh, huh. My mom's house. This is a lot more aggressive than I expected. Yeah, we're almost dead. No, we're not dead. We can just kill that thing with our moving rear. She goes to two though, and then we have to chump block here. That's doesn't, fine. Doesn't feel great. We got a Eureka. I guess we do have a Eureka. Shoot him down. I wish Magic Online had the sweet emotes that that MTG Arena has. Emotes? 
like where they the planeswalkers talk oh, when the animation and play. yeah oh. no not that like not even that just like where she was like my boat f- flies true or you know whatever she says my boat flies true your boat my boat flies true why wow, you said it, you said it wrong twice but that's what you said i said my bow because she's an archer oh my bow Eww. i think you said my boat yeah i know that's why i said you said it wrong twice Oh. Well. Butter, my. I you want to. I do want to, but I think we're too far. I think we just Primeval Titan, right? Oh, just like cast it physically? Yeah, physically cast it. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean like. Do you mean just like cast it with our mana? I know, man. Hear me out. It's just going to get cryptic to anyway. Oh, God, you're right. Whatever. Oh, they didn't get cryptic, bro. Can you even imagine? Let's get bloomers and swampers. Well, we're probably going to shoot her. Their attacks are not great here. They don't have cryptic. They could have cryptic and just saving it to kill us. That seems bad. No, letting this guy resolve seems bad. You ever cast a primeval titan? Once or twice. How how did it work for you? It's pretty good. Just kill my, just kill the Vivian Reed. You know you want to. You know you want to. Do it. Do it. Boom. 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 That's from Fallout 4. But it's not really. I mean, it's from somewhere else. It's a real song. But, you know, po- popularized by Fallout 4. What just have such thing as the fake song. Target, you can't block this turn. Oh, all right. They're just going to make this guy unable to block, and they're going to kill it the old-fashioned way. Sure. I would have probably Grim Lava answered, but, I mean, I guess this is a good way to push through some demolish. Okay. There's a lot of lands. Uh, I'm not... I think it was Shurika. I disagree with you. Okay. I'm actually tempted to kill one of my own lands in order to... Block. Block. That's correct. This guy's very big. Yes. Fallout has the greatest music. I listen to soundtracks all the time. You are correct. That is 100% correct. I asked Santa to be happy. I did not receive it. Oh my God, Spazio, dude. That's really sad. I don't think our we're looking good here. I think we're we're looking great. I'm gonna make a blocker. Something like cryptic command. Oh, it's still alive. That's where they go cryptic command. Bounce it. All right. Well, we're just gonna kill this guy. Not Pia. That would have probably been better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not relevant now, but she's definitely a better creature, so... We take one, two, three, four, we go to three, and this is where they just go chain lightning our face. Probably. Yeah, that seems bad. <gasps> we are alive. Six, seven, eight, nine. Can we deal four? No. <laughs> not with that, we can't. Not with that attitude. <clears throat> well, we can't attack here, unfortunately. Oh, I guess we can... play Thran Dynamo. Might as well. Because if they if they had double attack with these guys, we can block both of them. If they attack with all three, then they're not Grim Lava answering us this turn. So I guess we're just hoping you just don't hit anything that really has an impact on the board. Don't alpha. Oh yes, we get another turn. Oh man. Ulamog. That'll do. That's basically like an Ulamog, right? If they had cryptic, they would have done it. Oh, they could just have a regular counter spell, I guess. They don't. All right, fascinating. <clears throat> well, they're not. We're not casting these. Actually, oh man, what if we just one, two, three, four, five, six? We'd have seven. So now it wouldn't work. I guess this is a little log and. 
Emrakul kills them on the spot, so I'm going to get Emrakul and probably Kozilek here. Yep. Alright. Here's hoping they don't have, like, Zealous... Con if they had Zealous Conscripts again, they would just kill us, so... We have we have one turn here. <sighs> no attacks. Even if they have like Pestermite to tap down one of our guys, we still do all right. But they ha I feel like they have a lot of cards that could kill us. Good games. Oh man, did we actually survive? Wow, I did not Surprise. see that coming. There's so many things that killed us there. Right, there's a lot. Like cryptic yeah. bolt chain lightning. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 I hate you. I hate well, everything don't talk you weird. choose no, to funny. be. Michael. Michael. You like when I just sing songs about your name? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. like that noise I just made? No. Definitely not. I hate you. Do you like that hatred I just made? Um. I'm going to keep this hand. This is a pretty good Eureka hand. And it can only get better if we draw more things. And if it can get worse if we don't. It doesn't actually doesn't get worse. That was the point. That's why I said that. It can only get better. Because we're never going to have fewer than these. At least these two. You know what I'm saying? Now? Our Eureka can only get better from here. If we even just put these two into play with Eureka, it's That's pretty good. It's yeah. very good. Because even if they had like this is a situation. One of the problems with show and tell is that like you'll put in a big creature, and they'll put in like a banishing light or a sower of temptation, and they'll steal it or copy it or get rid of it. Um, and then like a lot of times they'll play like phantasmal image, and they'll just copy your guy. So then they get to attack first, which is super bad. Um, however, with Eureka, you're actually able to put in planeswalkers. And, um, and then you can actually deal with whatever they put in. So if they put in Sower of Temptation, you just get to kill it. If they put in Phantasm, you get to kill it. If they put in a bigger creature, you get to kill it. So it's like, <clears throat> it can get worse if they have thoughts he's right, but that's not dependent on what we draw. Okay, sure. So next turn, this into Yuriga. Let me just get to play this for free anyway. Although they, them being a mono green deck right now is a little bit scary. But if they put in, like... The thing is, if they put in, like, a Crater Hoof, like, it doesn't matter. No. If they put in, like, an Acidic Slime, it doesn't matter. <sighs> I don't want them to go Acidic Slime here, but... Hmm, what are you gonna do? I guess nothing. I guess then we can just go land Llanowar Elf and hope we draw, like, an Ulamog or something here so we can have another dude on board. I hadn't looked at your hand when you said that. Then I just kept waiting for you to say, just need to draw Eureka. Nope. <clears throat> Here we go. That's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. Do we just do it? Do it. Do we risk it for a biscuit? <clears throat> go Forest. Your turn. Let's see how bad it is for us. All right. Yep, that's pretty bad. Oh, now we just kill it. This guy. Eh, it's fine. This guy. And this guy. I think they're done. Oh, <laughs> that's how you do it. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Not bad. I mean, they got planeswalkers. They could draw three, which they likely will. But Emrakul's pretty hard to deal with here, and we get to keep a Vraska because they'll have four attackers. We can block three of them, and an elf would get through if they really wanted to attack. <clears throat> so, not terrible.
Michael, I hear the blues are coming to salads and scrambled eggs. Thank you. Oh, violing with this. I'm just here for the emotes. You and so many others, it seems. <laughs> okay. So, six mana. Seven mana. Are you just tooth and nailing? Did you just literally draw tooth and nail? Did you have it in your hand? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to cringe so bad if it's a tooth and nail. No, at least I don't need to cast them. I guess oh, depending on what they get it could be real bad yeah they just get like woodfall primus kill this crater hoof kill us no they get too many tap creatures crater hoof would be terrible you're terrible wow got them three four five six seven eight we have nine mana if we can also top take a tooth and nail that'd be sweet ulamog is ceaseless hunger and eternal witness okay <clears throat> that seems fine they get back tooth and nail that's gas is this an undie stream? All streams are undie streams. Thanks to MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Be sure to check out that link for 15% off and free shipping and free returns if you guys are interested in super soft micromodal underwear, socks, sleep pants, tees, onesies, you name it. Go ahead, name it. I dare you. So they got Emrakul back, not Tooth and Nail back. Okay. I wish this had... Annihilator or something. An hour and later. Alright. Well, let's draw something big because we have a bunch of mana, huh? Something big. It's kind of big. It is kind of big. So the thing is, Emrakul actually kills them in two swings. Yep. This only deals creatures, right? And we're target creatures. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Like, we could probably shoot both of those, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have five mana. We can get one and one. Which leaves them with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they can't cast Emrakul yet. If, especially if we kill both of these guys. So let's do that. Yeah, alright. And then we can just hit their face. They do get to draw 10 cards, though, thanks to the Ulamog and the Garrick. Holy god. Yeah, what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> also, what are we doing with Vraska is the other question. Um, One... Two, three, four, five. Done. One. Choose first target right there. And there you go. Okay. <clears throat> and this guy doesn't die. He's indestructible. Yeah, that's cool. correct. That's fun. Seven seven. Um, let's make a guy, right? Cause actually, because if we get to keep this alive and kill Emrakul next turn, it's pretty good. I'm actually real tempted to kill the Garrick, but we actually can't survive. We actually can't survive two hits from, from right. the log. So our deck, deck is exile. we actually have to go face, even though they're going to draw ten cards, which is pretty unfortunate. All right, here we go. Five, and then you untap four, and that's nine. And you only have two card types, so that's 11. You're two card types shy. All right. <clears throat> Coffee's good. And we said we, want, we have one of the two cards in your hand. I'm not missing anything, right? It's 13 minus two, so it's 11. Oh, for crying out loud. Literally top deck a Karn. Jeez, the top deck tooth and nail into corn must be nice. It must be. It has to be nice, right? That's insane. It's really good. Really good. I think we're dead now. Garrick creates a beast instead of drawing you ten cards? Wow. I mean, I guess you don't need... I guess you don't need anything once you hit the Karn, so... 
It's pretty good. Pretty good. Are you going face here? No, you're going Vraska? All right, well. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'm just going to chump with Pirate here. I want to make sure we have nine mana just in case we get uh, Tooth and Nail ourselves. I'm still dead, though, even if we have Tooth and Nail. Yep. It's real dumb. It's like such a slim out, too. Yeah, we only have six mana, so we couldn't have flipped Nissa. <laughs> sure. Oh, that's obnoxious. I probably don't want Eureka now because we know what they have. Um, I kind of like Brain Maggot. It seems like a card they won't be able to deal with very easily. Spyglass also seems good against all their Planeswalkers. True. Chupacabra doesn't kill much. I guess it kills... Actually, maybe it does kill a bunch of stuff. Oh, black, though. Yeah, Ugh. you're right. I think it's just these two. Maybe Assassin's Trophy as well. And we can cut... I'm going to cut one land because I don't think we need 17 lands in this deck. <clears throat> And probably cutting. You alright, Hans? You doing okay, Chief? Maybe Nissa Voice of Zendikar. Yeah, we saw at least three Planeswalkers, so having Spyglass seems pretty okay. Uh, this hand seems great. Where'd your coffee go, man? Down my gullet hole. Down my gullet hole. Hmm. I'm just going to wait. Sorcerer's Blagos gets better the longer you wait because you get to see more things and customize whatever you want to name instead of like... Did they play like... Yeah, that's fine. Snake Boy. Dude, Mike, lol, enjoy the coffee. Don't gulp it every two seconds. Yeah, he's a little... Tell me how to drink. I really don't want to waste this on a Vivian Reed. No, that seems terrible. Why would you do that? Well, because we could also play Spying Last this turn, but I think it's fine to just wait. Ugin, Emrakul, Corsair. Well, Ugin's the only one we care about here. I can't tell if you're going to... I don't know if you're going to actually let me... If you're going to remember what's in here, so I'm just going to cap it anyway. Just in case. Okay. And we'll name Ugin. And we'll name Ugin. Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Yep, they do not. Oh, did they? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. That is correct. All right, cool. <coughs> so next turn we can Vivian Reed. Oh, we can Vivian Reed and kill Corsair of Crucifix, which is pretty gas. Oh, because it's an enchantment. Yeah. Right. Mm hmm. Don't be a land on top. Dang it. The rich get richer. They also played a... F oh, they didn't play a forest? They didn't play one from their hand, and they didn't play... Oh, they did. No, they played a forest from the top. Never mind. Okay. So that's why they have five cards. They have one, two, three, four, five. They have one, one card whatever they drew this turn. This is nice because they're just drawing a forest, but they're probably going to not draw the forest, is my guess. They're probably going to shuffle so they don't draw it. Oh, no, they just drew the forest. Seems good. So they'll play it, and I won't remove it. So now we know four out of the five cards in your hand? Seems good. You got it. This is nice because we get to look at the top five cards because of our draw, and if one of them is a big fat boy, we get to we get to. No, it's not. It's just lands in a Sylvan library. But in the future. But in the future. Uh, let's actually play Maggot. Really? Yeah. Why not? Because I'm kind of the other hand. Right, but like we get to guarantee they don't do anything fancy next turn. And we're just going to take Emrakul here. Whatever. And then we can play Fatty Bobatty. Unlucky reveal. Yeah, but next turn we get to see another five. So 
that's 10 cards deep and the odds of us hitting uh, an Emrakul or an Ulog or a uh, Kozilek next turn are like probably a thousand percent. So we played a land. So you had... Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all of these. And I think your hand is these four, these three, and whatever you drew. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, this game just ended. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're just going to cast this guy? Yep. Oh, we can just cast it. That's true. That's how channel works. That is how channel works. One, two, three. You can do both if you want. I, yeah, I don't know if I do. I mean, it would be really overkill win, right? Nine plus thirty. No, we'd probably die. But how cool would it be? Actually, can we do it? Hold on. What's the math here? This costs 12. All we need to do is cast that to win the game. We don't really need to. Well, they're not coming back from that. Like they, they have nothing in hand. And we get to take their next turn. Oh. Seems good. Also, right. But we can tooth and nail. Mm -hmm. And then put like... Uh, you know what, man? I don't know. Look, this is going to cost 11. Okay? And this costs 9. So this is 20. And then, yeah, we can just go to 4 here. It's not a big deal. Entwine. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get. You know what we're doing here. Cause like an Umi. Um, but then they take another turn after we play this, which is pretty Why scary. Why don't you just instead cast the Ulamog and give it to their permanence? Yeah. I think this is what they call overkill. We have one of all three of the boys in play. All, <laughs> all three. From different time periods as well. This is kind of funny. You got the OG, you got the uh the re the battle for El Battle for Zendikar one, and you have the Shadows El Eldritch Moon one or whatever. I mean, we didn't even attack. We didn't even attack with either of these guys, because really why? Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, well, that was a close game. <laughs> but it was not close game. You okay? Just a Justin, man. I thought you were a Mike, not a Justin. <sighs> hugh, 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 hugh. Mike, how was your Christmas? I got an OG Super Nintendo and have been playing Mega Man X for almost 24 hours. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, this hand's the most keepable thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look look upon me, ye mortals. And despair. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they are. Which one do we do? Uh, we do the one that kills both of their lands. Uh, and kills them in two turns. That's mostly unbeatable. Yeah, that's fine. You got it. Here we go, boys. Oh, this is what you do. Do, 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 do. Pay 10 life. I'll give him the old backwards D face. Play the dynamo too. It's very tempting. Uh, I just don't think it's necessary. Ugh. This is. I feel like we won this game. Are we? Are we good? That's a bit unfair. <laughs> I paid ten life. Look, I even get to search for something. Maybe he can. He can get rid of it. You know. What Maybe it's a white and a journey to nowhere. It's true. Could have a white and a journey to nowhere. It's got to be in their bottom eleven cards though, because otherwise, see you later. Get him. Journey is in the cube. Oh, yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, because in, in case you were serious. Yep, that'll do. We got rid of the Karn. That's good. We got rid of Ugin. Got rid of their Ulamogs. All right. And game. Good games. But they were not GGs. They were BGs. <laughs> oh, turn to Ulamog, man. It never gets old. It's pretty good. It always makes me happy that you and your son stream together. Well, you know. The family who streams together dreams together. That's what I always say. Or the family who memes together steams together. They steam together. Yeah. <laughs> like steamed hams? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Keeping. Channel's just like, it's, it's such an enabler that like you'll just keep cards, hands with like a channel in them. And just hope you draw into like the things you need. Like we have three Eldrazi. Like any one of them is great off the top here, so. Three out of 33, we have a 1 in 11 chance of drawing them. I think that's how that works. I'm no statistician, but how many trophies do I have? Like, two. How many silver trophies do I have? Which is a Frank Lepore invention. That means how many times did I go 2-1? Probably like 12. Thousand. 12,000. They also get pretenders from PDQ. Yeah, that's pretenders done quick. Everybody knows that. Turn 3 channel Garrick. That is the dream. Faithless looting, eh? You're sacking a pedal of food looting? This smells like a reanimator to me. This smells like a reanimate, ex like right now. I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. But do you have any rubber Unless wool? Unless you draw an Ulamog. Ooh, Grave Titan and Unburial rights. Drawing an Ulamog would be so lit right now, because then we just get to crush. Do they really not have a reanimate? No, they put Unburial rights in the graveyard. Yeah, but I don't know if I'd sack a pedal just to faith. I play. wouldn't either. Unless you have the reanimate. Well, they might want to be finding their second color. So they might not have, like, obviously red, and then they might be just looking for, like, a mountain. Which Maybe. Kind of makes sense. Oh, an island. Here comes an exhum. Oh, nothing. Exhum would be pretty scary, because that's a two-turn clock, so. Do we turn three channel Garrick? No. Nope. All right, well, we're doing it. We're living the dream. I don't know how we're living the dream, but I assume it's being lived somehow. Oh. Alright, now we get an opening. You ready? They're going to put a counter on right now. Because they're like, you know what? I don't even have it. Yep, there you go. <laughs> nice. Here we go. That'll, That'll do. do. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. We are both playing fair magic, but I am playing the more fair magic. Are you? No. Because it looks like you're channeling for tooth and nail right now, which I don't think is fair. Don't have pact of negation. Nope, they didn't have it. <sighs> is it just Kozilek and Ulamog? It feels like Kozilek and Ulamog. I want the Annihilator, but I also want the the Exile of the Library as well. So, All right, they're both highlighted. Put them into play. Seems good. The problem with Emrakul is that like it really doesn't do much except for a Smash for 13, which is fine. But once it's on the board, it's, it's less threatening, especially because Ulamog's indestructible already. And Kozilek's a 12-12. So they can, like, play Chupacabra here, but we're exiling 20 of your t 27 cards. Sometimes magic is a fair game. How's your beard? You doing a little scratch in there? Mm-hmm. You got those beard spiders? Oh, yeah. Every day. Every day you have beard spiders? Every day. Did you try just washing your beard maybe once? I do that every day as well. Huh. It doesn't stop the spiders. Do they come you back? You think water kills the spiders? I... Are you dummy? You know, maybe I am. Maybe you're right. Maybe I've just been a dummy this whole time. Yeah. You've really opened my eyes, man. They're really thinking about what color they want to get here. All 
All right, let's do it. Oh my God, what are beard spiders? That sounds terrible. Oh, they did. They're like, you know what? In response to getting a black mana, I'll probably just concede. I, I appreciate that. That's a that's a solid choice. I think the scavenging news is definitely coming in once we see them sure. tossing on barrel rights in a gristle in a a grave titan in the yard. I don't know if I want Eureka here. Could be dangerous. But then again, it's really cool. It is really cool. I think this is fine like this. I mean, we didn't see a ton. We saw literally Faithless Living, Lotus Petal, Coalition Relic, uh, Unbarrel Rights, and Grave, Grave Titan. So <coughs> Now I'll cut my beard because I'm afraid of beard spider. Vraska seems bad? Why? It doesn't even make any sense. You can put it into play with Eureka. You can Thran Dynamo or Basalt we Monolith. We took out Eureka. Right. But like you play Elf into Basalt Monolith, like you play in Vraska on turn three. Or bird. Or blue and marsh. And Vraska's just good. Like, it's just a great answer for things that the green deck doesn't have answers to. Are you still in the process of... No, uh, I mean, I've, I've, my cube has been built for some time. Well, from for like literal months now. Do you like the blue-white-white game through left counter spell? Not really. I mean, Absorb didn't see much play when it was legal. Undermine was the real one because you could deal three damage. Yeah, the damage no. is way better than gaining life. Yeah, g dealing three is much better than gaining three, so. Garrick seems bad. Wow, Garrick seems bad. Fucking Vraska seems bad. I guess everything seems bad. I don't know. Garrick seems fine. Daddy Cube. He literally just posted a link to his cube. Literally right above your your text. <laughs> Do you have a list for your cube? Yes, it's the one I just posted. Nailed it. Yeah, I like the run over Pelucranus, but it's <sighs> a good. That's solid. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Absorb is a... I don't know if Absorb is amazing. Like, I, I mean, like, would I rather play Absorb or Sinister Sabotage? I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards Sinister Sabotage. It's easier to cast, and s Surveilling is, might be better than, than gaining three. I don't know. It also depends on if there's a good Asaurus control deck, which there probably will be. Yeah, this hand is balls. Slow. It's really good if we draw channel. But... It's real good if we draw channel. Do we just want to live the dream and try to draw channel in two turns? I think this hand is too slow if we don't draw channel. Is the next hand going to be better? Do yeah. We think about Ulamog. I do love me a Mulamog. A Mulamog? Mulamog. <laughs> Just if they are reanimated, this is pretty slow. Nah, no, mole get it, man. Let the chat decide. Mole or keep. How do you do polls on here? The poll to mole. We got one keep, two, three moles, two keeps, another mole. I kept it. Looks like we're mostly mole there. I was mostly keeping my heart. Channel. We have two turns to draw it. I mean, we technically have like four turns. It doesn't have to be on turn three. Or four. Like, I mean, any any turn before turn five to be able to channel into Wilmog is still pretty nuts. Fool. <laughs> yeah, okay. My bad. It's almost like I like having fun when I play games of magic and I don't try to be the most cutthroat spike ever. Dang it, it was just a, it was just a basic forest. That's all. Yeah, like I knew. I mean the curve is great, three, four, five, whatever. Three, four, five, ten. Yeah. You're gonna crack your iron mesa, get your steam vents. 
Since Dovin is in the Planeswalker deck, does that mean we won't get a Kaya this set? Um, probably. I, I mean, I don't. I don't. Uh, no, I thought there was going to be a Kaya. I thought literally it was Kaya, Dovin, and maybe maybe one other. I'm not sure. Elves next turn. You mean Elf, right? No, they didn't crack their Arab Mesa. All right, well. A curve three for five is a decent vintage cube to cast, and then turns one, two, three. That's just not true. Like people overestimate the vintage cube. It's not nearly as like I don't know why people think it's so quick. It's not like a super quick format. You just have rare instances of people doing broken things. Like this person's casting thirst for knowledge main phase on turn three. Like it's not. Like it's just not. There's not like you don't lose on turn two and three in the vintage cube. It's just not how it works. Yeah, that's pretty rare. I've done like probably close to like seventy vintage cube drafts in my life. Probably more than that actually. It's just not how things work. Like, people see Vintage in the name, and they're like, it's just a broken format. You can do anything. Wulamog. One channel. Just be a channel. Eh, Acidic Slimes. So they're just going to undergo its Dragon Lord Atarka here, which is pretty rough. So do we even cast Nissa? Like, what's the point of that? We get another land, but we already have five lands anyway, so then we just pass here. It does thin our deck of, like, one land. As you turn two, well, yeah, I've turned two wind once in this entire draft. Out of out of three three matches, we've done it one time. You like that's literally proving my point. I, like appreciate it. <laughs> uh, eight eight's pretty frustrating, but whatever. I'm not gonna throw a Nissa away just for a land. Mm. Vintage is also a, quite a slow format. I agree with that completely. Vintage being like this turn, this busted you know two turn format is just not true. Yeah, because usually they're like force of well decks, and yeah, there's tons of ways to there's or like denying resources, like yeah, or there's like the mud deck that makes the game really slow. There's a lot of interaction in vintage that people discount. Like there's force of wills, there's mental missteps. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good against us. It's not bad. I'll never switch to, cube, to arena because I can't. Yeah, but you can just play arena for the arena formats and play Magic Online for the cube format. Like committing to one format entirely doesn't really. You don't really have to do that. It's not really. If you have a neckbeard, are there also neckbeard spiders? And how are neckbeard spiders more vicious than? Uh, I'm not sure the entomology of neckbeard spiders versus regular beard spiders. I think they're just like regular beard spiders, but they crawl down. You know, I think that's. But about they it. might have more like stronger leg muscles because of more the, the, the more the more extensive crawling. They also wear top hats. Oh, that's interesting. That's probably more frightening, but it also could be more friendly. Hmm. These are the things we ponder. We don't have ponder in our deck. We're green. Are there mullet beard spider? What's a mullet beard? Okay. That's a little rough. Yeah, but if we can hit channel right now, this game ain't over. That's not it. And we're dead. Bribery is a hell of a drug. Not trilbies. <laughs> Wow, hold on, watch the next Harvey channel. Dang it. Oh, Beast of Him would have actually been fantastic. Yeah, that would answer it. Alright, let's try again. Try again, try try again. I like Brain Maggot against this deck. I don't know what they're doing, but I like Brain Maggot. It's not case in point. Like, there were, like, multiple things we could have drawn there to stop what they did. And they had a bribery on turn, like, six. Well, turn four, what did they have? They had Grim Monolith, so sure. Like, bribery on turn four when we don't have an answer. Our deck is not very interactive. Like, this is not... This is the most, like, results-oriented study I've ever seen. 
Uh, Stunning Reversal has been interesting. Like, I don't love it because it's very, it's a card where you have to wait to play it. I love the card, but I don't love it in cube. Like, it's, it's proven to me that, like, even when I'm able to draft it, I've drafted it, like, two times. I board it out a lot because usually you win before you get to, like, it's, a, it's like a real kind of, like, it's a card that, like, you don't want to... I'm trying to... It's hard to explain. I was never in a situation where I was like, well, I'm about to die next turn, and I also have Stunning Reversal in hand. So... Oh, yeah, of course your best Vintage Cube decks are going to be the 100% Goldfish decks, like where you can turn two random crystal man 100% of the time, because those are the most memorable, most broken... Like, those are the most extreme wins you can get. But it's not common. Right, like, in order to get that, like, the decks that actually... The decks that get to do that are very rare, and also being able to do that in those decks is also not super rare, or super common, rather. It is just a little faster cube with some spiking with power. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, even our deck, we have Channel and we have multiple Eldrazi and Tooth and Nail. Like, we've done it a few times. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, we've done turn four Channel, Tooth and Nail into Eldr Eldrazi a bunch of times. But our deck is also geared towards doing that. Like, we have multiple ways to accelerate. We have Channel and... Uh... I sure realize we haven't yet to play Silver in Library. Yeah, so we're, whereas, like, we... <laughs> I haven't played a Sylvan Library once, which is kind of funny. Soaring, Black Lotus, Upheaval, Brown Deck, that was, yeah, basically if you just go, if you're able to Upheaval and still cast an, an Ugin after that, yeah, it's probably pretty good. You were probably pretty far ahead there. All right, you ready? I'll take it. I'll take Rafelos on the play. This is a turn three acidic slime, killing their second land. You're right. Okay, take it easy. You're right. Ah! <laughs> okay. Hold the draw, Primeval Titan. Can we just draw Channel and then Ulamog after instead? That'll like, do. Turn two, turn three. God, don't have a way to kill this because our our hand gets our hand gets real bad if they can kill it. You might be right. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm 100% right. Oh, God. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, we're halfway there. Living on a river. We haven't seen any, like, one mana counter spells. Or any, like, red burn spells for this guy, so. Just live. Just live, damn you. I want you to live. I feel like Tinker is a top 10 card. I agree with you, but the problem is there's a very limited amount of creatures that you can Tinker into in this queue. I think it's basically Blightsteel Colossus and uh, like Mirror Battlesphere and Inkwell Leviathan. And the problem is only one of those is like hard castable in the deck, so... No, don't do it. Don't do it. Just... Oh, yes. All right, they're going to discard something gross, I bet. But this is still pretty good because we can... Oh, just a swamp. All right. We're doing it. Mike, who would win in a fight? Ulamog or the Great Dane you posted the other day? Um, <laughs> I'm still going to go with Ulamog, I think. Well, that seems Danist. Danish. Wow. Huh. Huh. I mean, we 100% put the battle, the Basalt Monolith on the battlefield, right? Yes. And then we can play Acidic Slime as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, that tr is, that, is that the best we can do? This also sets up an Ulamog next turn. Well, not if we cast this, though. Or not if we, not if we, uh, not if we activate this. Well, it's not activated, then. Well, I want to play Acidic Slime, though, and kill one of their lands. I think that's pretty strong. All right. Yeah, I guess we don't need to play Monolith here. We also have to draw. We do have to draw a land in order to play Wulong, which is not guaranteed. I think blue. I think so too. They're a ways off of playing. Uh, 
on barrel rights, so. <coughs> it doesn't have to be Tinker Turn 3, but what's the point, man? Yep, alright, so that's good. We have nothing in the graveyard, so I'm not super... Oh, we can just play Vivian Reed and kill that. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Give me a land so we can play Vivian Reed Basalt Monolith. Forest off the top one time. Yeah. Actually, we can hit a forest with Vivian Reed, too, if we wanted to. No, I gotta kill that money. Kill that money. Big money. It's like big money, but big money. Big, big money, big money, big money. You know what's up. Kapow. Cash monolith. Cash monolith outside. How about that? Yeah, you know it. I mean, it's too old. Is it that old? It's at least a year old. God, how old is she now? She's like probably 30, right? Yeah, she's probably 30. <laughs> she went from 13 to 30. Like the MTV show, 13 going on 30? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, apparently she has a rap album coming out. I don't know if that makes her a rap superstar. I don't either. <laughs> I agree with you. I'm not sure that's how that works. Is that like Spider-Man and Doc Ock being friendly? Yeah. There's a series called The Superior Spider-Man, and it's actually Dr. Octopus as Spider-Man. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <sighs> Haji Galashi is really aggressive about it. This was a while. Let's see if I still got what it takes. I'm going all out, not pulling the brakes. Mono green with the beastie boys we play. Let's get turn two channel. So let's pray. Let's enjoy this great deck and late Merry Christmas for all the mic. And please let all the beard spiders take. <laughs> that was pretty good. Zaxor, well done. Well done, buddy. Thirteen going out thirty. Was that the actual name? I just thought that was a, I just I mean I thought I was making a oh wow that's the literal name of the movie I thought it was just a play on the words like you know I thought it was like you know 14 going on 40 or 14 going on 25 like you know whatever the whatever the combination was of something going on something I didn't know that was the exact name that's pretty comical actually who saw that coming I guess no one did oh man it's got Mark. Wow, that was a that was an early Mark Ruffalo movie. That was pre Hulk. What about Big? Can't forget Tom Hanks. You were sick. <laughs> yeah. Mike's mom is sixteen, going on seventeen. Hmm. Huh. That's right, boy. Had no idea. That's because she keeps it a secret from everybody. What'd you do with your What'd you do with your nose there? Flicked it. Were you Were you secretly uh, sending a message to someone? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. Okay. Excuse me, Michael. Your opponent's going real deep. I think this might be their way of conceding, but it's hard to tell. I really have no idea what's going on right now, so. I was Groot once. No, you weren't. Damn. Opponent went to get a sandwich. Boy, they sure did. Alright. Well, I think we won this game. 6.52. It's been four minutes. Do we have to just wait for the clock to run out? I guess. We can have honesty stream if you guys want to ask Mike some questions. Mike can answer them honestly. Uh, you can you can also be asked questions. No, just not you. Just, me. just no. you. No. Just Mike. No.
Meatech, are you Robert? You are. <laughs> it says it in the email. <laughs> Top three rappers, Mike. Honestly, stream. No, honestly, stream only. Honestly, Top honestly, three rappers? Um, I think Eminem's up there. Really? Are these your top three? Yeah, they have to be your top three. Mm, it's always personal. Uh, I think Immortal Technique. And... Oh, sh they played an island. Go on, you got one more. Hmm. Oh, that's fascinating. Not exciting, but fascinating. Guess we got. Guess we're losing a forest here. Maybe like Nos was the other one. Interesting. What about MCP? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That's a classic. On stream, like, what's it like living with Frank? Oh, it's it's miserable. He, I hate, I he hates me so. What is Mike really short for? Uh, Michael. It's actually Morkel. I didn't want to tell him that. Well, I told him. Morkel. The new Sherlock Holmes movie got a zero on Rotten Tomatoes. Jeez. Is that no way? That's impossible, dude. I mean, I could have told you that. No friggin' way. Does that? There's no way. That's impossible, right? Oh my god, it has 5%. Jeez. Oh, 21 reviews and it has a zero? And only 20% of the audience liked it. Oh. Oh, this is, that's the most cringy thing I've ever seen. I'm going to play this elf. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because the elf actually, actually the forest does it too, right? But we can play the elf this turn along with Basalt Monolith. How are you going to tell me my answers are right? Well, Daddy Q, what's your favorite three rappers of all time? And then I can judge you for it. <laughs> tell me your favorite three. He's like, no, I disagree with your favorites. Those are not... Oh my god, I can't believe it has a 0%. How is that even real? See, my problem with Lil Wayne is he's really hit or miss. Like, some of his songs are amazing, but he has plenty of really bad songs as well. Jay Z, however, is Jay Z's a good one. Jay Z's pretty pretty OP. Oh my God, Rotten Twenty One, Fresh is Zero. These are the same guys who made Step Brothers. That's really sad. Oh God. Favorite drink? Um, if we're going for alcoholic drinks, I really like an old fashioned. He really likes an old-fashioned, guys. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. Jay-Z is overrated? I mean, I think he's too. good. He's not the best rapper of all time, but... Favorite type of bread? Uh, probably rye. Actually, the rye, the rye pumpernickel swirl. That's really good. You know Sean Mitchell? Yes. Sean Mitchell yesterday was like, anyone watch Holmes and Watson? Seriously considering going to the theater solo on Christmas to see it. And I'm like... You're going to have a bad time. Bro, right? there's so many better movies you can go watch at the theater. What even is Lean? I've heard of Lean. Lean? Yeah, it's some kind of like drug that rappers drink now. Is it a drug that they is it drink? Just, is it just the same thing? Is it just cough syrup and soda? Is it th that thing? Because that had a all, different name before. Aren't we all just cough syrup and soda, Michael? Oh, let's get a primal timel. One, two, three. I like this because we can also still keep up. We're going to get rid of both of your... Oh, let's get rid of the black sources, right? Not worry. That sounds like a good drink. This lag is real. I have no idea what's happening right now. There's actually some lag going on the computer. My like... Oh, it's cough syrup and soda? Why are they calling it lean now? They used to just call it dirty Sprite. Or, uh... What, was, call the you dirty what was the other name for it? Sturdy Sprite. Scissor. They used to call it Scissor. Scissor? scissor? Yeah, Scissor. If they want to remand this, you know what? Knock yourself out. Purple Drink was also a name for it. Oh, we won. Apparently, Ulamog too strong. Apparently. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Send us like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch, Patreon, and you can check me out on meundies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And you can also check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. Link is in the description below. And with promo code Frank, you will get 10% off. So be sure to check out all those links. All the info is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.